Welcome back to another video. I've got the new PB2S charger and power bank that was sent in via XSTAR for a review. Quite a few changes compared to the previous version. You can also charge more batteries with this. You were just stuck with the 18650 size. And it also supports Quick Charge 3 and Power Delivery 3. If you have devices that support those, you can charge them at faster speeds. Charging speeds are specified here. If you've got the Quick Charge, you can charge each slot at 2 amps maximum. Supply cable is around 80 centimeters length and it's a type A to a type C. And there is a user guide included. I will scan that and put that up on the screen a bit later on. Taking a closer look at the unit, I've put the size and weight on screen for you. It has got a bit bigger than the last one, which isn't surprising considering the bigger batteries that it takes. It does have the same soft touch finish, which does feel quite nice. It does feel like a solid unit and the build quality is quite good overall. On the back of the unit, they've also printed out the charging outputs and speeds. I'm gonna put them up on the screen for you so there's no confusion. The Type-C is an input and an output, and the Type-A is just an output, but you have the option of quick charge or power delivery with either of those ports. On the side is a power button. You can switch between the battery bays to get some more information if it's charging, you can also turn off the display and the power bank even if it's connected. Taking off the cover, this is magnetic just like the previous one, but this time they've added a ribbon which goes across, it's built into the unit so that you can pull the cells out easier, particularly when you've got the larger cells there isn't as much space to get to them. Inside the case you see markings for positive and negative and they've raised contact points at the top. Instead of bare springs showing they've gone with some pins which have the springs inside them look to be chrome plated and extra saying they have better contact than normal connectors. Size wise it has grown compared to the PB2 on the right. I don't find it a big problem because you've got additional options for different batteries. Quick look at the top with the old version we just had the micro USB input but with the type C we now have that as an input and an output. Just put a few batteries in just to show you the connectors are pretty firm it does push into place quite strongly, doesn't seem to be any movement. Worth noting this can't take the protected 21700 cells, but apart from that it does take a larger variety of batteries such as the 18650 and also it will be able to manage the protected 18650 cells which you couldn't fit into the last one. Did notice a slight issue with the ribbon, they haven't really put it up high enough, so what happens is when you pull it out it tends to pull batteries at the bottom, Although it is smooth on there, it's not a sharp contact point. There's potential to possibly damage the battery wrap. The display on this does show more information. Apart from the percentage, it will give you the voltage and the amps if it is connected to a device. Unfortunately, you can't see what the battery voltage is unless you are charging. That's the only way you can get to that. But still, it is an improvement over the last one. You get a bit more information if you need it. Obviously, you have two batteries in there. It will work out the percentage based on both. Quite a bit more useful than the last one because you just had the percentage display and it wasn't always entirely accurate. I'm going to plug it in now just to show you some of the charging and when you've plugged it in with the Type-C connector make sure you push it in a little bit further so it contacts. As far as your charging speeds are going to vary depending on your power source. If you're using 5 volts you're going to get about 2 amps maximum across both bays and it will attempt to charge a battery at up to 2 amps if you've just got a single bay occupied. There's no way of adjusting that other than plugging it into another device such as a USB port on a computer which will have lower power and that is something I would have liked to have seen changed in the design. I've plugged it into a mains quick charge 3 adapter and you're seeing the voltage just under the 12 volts. I did test the voltage readout and it's probably a bit more accurate on the amperage than the voltage compared to my tester but it's close enough to be of use. If you single press the button when charging, you'll see B1 come up for the first slot, the battery bay, and then press again, B2 will come up, and it will show you the voltage of the cell and the rate that it's charging. As I said earlier, downside is with these higher capacity 18650 cells, they're really designed to be charged at around about one amp is their best charging rate. You can charge them faster, but I generally use that rate to preserve the battery life. As you'd expect, you do have the reverse polarity protection. If you put a cell in the wrong way around, nothing bad's going to happen. I'm going to use these VapSil 21700s because I've already tested the capacity on these and I know it's accurate. And the discharge capacity at 5 volts 
was just over 5,500 milliamp hour. It's not the best conversion rate, but it's not too bad. It's not going to be as good as a dedicated power bank. You can connect devices and charge two at the same time with this, but do take into account you can only use the quick charge if you're just using one of those ports. And I saw it go up to around about two and a half amps maximum for both ports being used. One of the problems on the PB2 was that it wasn't able to charge low battery capacity devices. So I decided to test this MP3 player out, which has a very small battery and it did successfully charge it. I left it for about an hour and it fully charged it. So it seems XSTAR have fixed that problem. It's nice to see that XSTAR have addressed that issue from the last version. This is a quick look at the user guide. There are a few errors in this. The voltage does go up to 12 volts, not the nine volts quoted as you've previously seen in the test when I had it plugged in. My thoughts overall with the PB2S are that XTAR have made some good improvements on this and I do think it is potentially going to be useful for a lot of people. I'm still a little bit disappointed that they haven't addressed the issue of the lower charging rate. If you're someone who has a lot of protected 18650s or the higher capacity type, that one amp charging would have been useful. You can work around it by plugging it into a lower power source but I would have liked to have seen an option for a slower charging for those types of batteries. On the other hand, if you have a lot of 20, 21700 cells or tend to use the high drain 18650s, you might find this quite useful. It's not as good as a dedicated power bank, but if you have a lot of batteries around, you can just simply take them out and put new ones in. So it might be quite useful. Do weigh up the pros and cons on this. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. If you've got any thoughts on this, do drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.